Imagine trying to survive while losing one kilogram a day or having to swim 175 kilometers while starving to death. Food is becoming more calorie expensive for the world's polar bears, as revealed in a study published earlier this month by Anthony Pagano, a research biologist at U.S. Geological Survey Polar Bear Research Program. We ended up monitoring 20 polar bears on land in Wapus National Park. Um, we used GPS-enabled video camera collars on each bear. We simultaneously measured their energy expenditure and measured their changes in, in body weight. Change in the climate of the polar region is leading the fauna to change behavior when it comes to food as polar bears try to adapt to a new reality. The study found that two behaviors prevailed in the species. Some would go the extra mile to find food. A young female bear swam 175 kilometers, 25 kilometers more than the distance between London and Calais in France. Other bears conserved energy by resting, renouncing to these endurance swims, resulting in the bear spending more calories hunting than what the meals provide them. A big part of the, the basis for this study was one to evaluate you know, what effect land-based foods might have for polar bears, whether it can increase the period that they can survive on land, but secondarily to gather the actual empirical data to better predict how long they can survive uh, on land given forecasted climate warming in different regions of the Arctic. If the trend isn't reversed soon, the estimated 26,000 polar bears in the wild could start to lose their hold on survival before the middle of this century. The study found that nearly all the bears lost weight rapidly, on average over one kilogram per day. That is because the benefits of land-based foods were offset by the extra energy required for foraging. Of the existing population, those most at risk were the young, the future of the species. As a result of their small size, they're not able to accumulate as much body fat as a larger bear would, would be able to do. Um, also, they're not as, ex as experienced as a, an adult bear would be, so they aren't as skilled at catching seals while the sea ice is present. But then, what can we do? Polar Bears International, an NGO fighting for protection of these species, promotes mainly to vote and speak up to support an energy shift and to talk about it. If we are unable to reverse that trend, polar bears will have to go further away from their habitats and their eating habits. When polar bears are on land, they act like other bears and become omnivores, making human-bear interactions more plausible and dangerous for both us and polar bears.